Let's look at field properties within a document definition. I'll open up this project and we'll take a look at the document definitions. There are three. I'll open up this document definition and we see a list of fields here. I'll open up the company field and we've already spoken about uh, items in the general tab. On the data tab, you can select a data type for the field. You can create your own custom data type. This is a very important and powerful feature that we'll learn more about. The autocorrect options allow you to replace data or delete extra characters or spaces or change lowercase characters to uppercase and vice versa. That's also a very important feature. Down here, the validation group of options contains settings that determine how values are checked and sets the limits on values, um, such as limits on the number of allowed characters, the range of permitted dates or currency values, the upper currency value and the lower that's acceptable. Also here we could add a list of acceptable text strings. One of the strings must be matched. And if one of those strings is not matched, an error is triggered and the verification operators offered a drop list of correct possible choices. So the validation tab is where we can really lock down a field. And if the results, the OCI results don't comport with our settings here, a rule violation will be triggered. Also note that there's a cannot be blank option here. This essentially determines whether or not a field is required. Next, we'll go to the Recognition tab. Correctly setting recognition values will dramatically increase the quality of the captured data. This is the first place an administrator should go when noticing poor capture results. In the Filling Type field, select the desired recognition mode. We'll just drop this down. We've got Standard Recognition, Do Not Recognize, and Script Recognition. For standard recognition, we've got the options of ICR for handprint, OCR for machine print, and advanced. Advanced uh, is an option you can use to select several text types or to specify a custom text type. So you can see some of the options there. Select the do not recognize mode if the field cannot be recognized for some reason. And a good example is if the text is cursively written, handwritten, where characters are fused together, in some way touching each other. And in this case, the best practice is to uh, select do not recognize. And then the verification operator will key in that text manually. The image preprocessing settings usually are set the same for most form fields. Making adjustments here can be helpful for fields with background images, watermarks, or perhaps shading. So when preparing an image for ingestion through scanning, maybe images that have background images and watermarks, make sure that the proper scanning image preprocessing options have been selected. Select the script recognition option if you want to use a custom recognition module that is a custom or third-party OCR, ICR, or OMR engine. The script is launched when a field value is to be recognized. The exact field image snippet being recognized is passed to the script as an input parameter. And within the scripting module, low confidence character data is passed back so that the verification operators are guided to which characters to check. And also take a look at the data form. To make verification easier, you can customize the appearance of the data form by uh, adjusting the position, making several columns. I've got a field and a table here. For some reason, I wanted the table to be to the right. I could set it there. Um, so you can rearrange as needed the position of these fields.